वेलकम और वेलकम बैक टू बी टाइड एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी वुड बी गोइंग एंड सेटिंग अप द पोजिशनल वॉइस चैट कॉम्पोनेंट विद जस्ट रिलीज विद द वर्जन फोर पॉइंट फाइव ऑफ द यू एस इंटीग्रेशन किट देर आर अ लॉट ऑफ अपडेट्स दैट आर अवेलेबल इन दिस वन सो मेक श्योर यू गो थ्रू द चेंज लॉग्स दैट सेट लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड एंड थैंक्स अ लॉट टू आमिर बी के हुड डेट दिस इम्प्लीमेंटेशन विदाउट एनी चार्जेस दैट दैट मैन इज ग्रेट सो इफ यू हैव एनी ऑडियो स्टफ feel free to reach out to him the links are in the description so the first thing that you need to do for the lobby method the token one is discussed later in the second half of the video but for the lobby method the thing that you need to do is you need to make sure when you create a lobby which as you see i have some example codes for creating and finding so in the create eik lobby node the use voice chat should be turned on now you cannot turn off the voice chat after a lobby has been created or you cannot turn it on the lobby voice chat method so you need to do it now so make sure you do it uh, you can mute the players that that is of course an option but uh, the rtc component cannot be created now in your third person character whatever character you have or pawn you have just add the eik voice in the component it's available in the component section so search for eik eik and you will find the eik voice chat synth component and on the right you have a lot of synth settings as you normally do now some of the main settings that um, are related to eik are the two that is the supported room and use a uh, global room supported rooms is for token voice uh, token system or in case you know the lobby voice room number but for lobby i will always suggest to just use the global room you can turn it off and on at run time you can have multiple voice chat synth components for multiple rooms that is also an option and you can even disable enable it at run time as you can do with any other component in unreal so the first thing that we need to do is allow a specialization uh, if i am pronouncing it wrong sorry that my that's my bad but let's create an attenuation setting so i usually just name it eik sound attenuation or something like that and let's open it up uh, or even the default will work for that matter and make sure please make sure the auto activate is turned on then save the setting and go back let's open this up and the default settings will work the everything will work here whatever is done but i usually suggest to disable uh, make the fall of distance a little lower but no worries if you don't want to let's go back to our third person map and show you how that setting will look like so if i drop a maybe a cube or something let me just see if i have some any sound here sound audio uh in all yeah i have a lot of uh, engine sound so i will just drag one of them and apply it here and in the attenuation just select the eos no not this one uh scroll down yeah this one select eos the one that we had so you see the fall of distance is too large so basically even if you are in the map somewhere you will be able to hear him so you will not be you will not know what the sound is so make make it natural sound and uh, decrease the fall of distance to something reasonable so you can see you cannot hear when the player goes out of the range so you see this is a bit reasonable so if i am out of the range i will not be able to hear so if i am here somewhere the player is here i won't be able to hear him um and the volume will keep on decreasing so that's ju just some basic about the sound uh, component and you can even play with a lot of settings that you can see in the synth component so let's get started now let's try this out uh in the game itself one more thing that i want to add is i am using the dev tool which comes with the eos integration kit and uh, so i'm logged in with my two accounts which i can just show you so you can see i have two accounts and i am logged in with both so these are what i'm using and i'm just using local port and whatever the default settings are if you don't know about the auto login you can just check the docs we have an auto login which helps multiple accounts to be used on uh editor gameplay so you don't need to do multiple things so let me just quickly show you on the login settings and uh sorry auto login you see developer tool is selected and it will just log me in with two accounts as when i play with the standalone
Hello, hello, hello. Okay, so hopefully you can check. Let's go. I will. So basically, you can just check. I can hear myself. I, I'm not basically very high away, and I cannot hear myself. I am just to show you. Um, you can see my audio input is captured, and now if I disable it, you should not be able to hear me. Which here? I am just leaving it here so you can see. Hello, 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 hello. And the rate goes up. That seems to be working. Although double audio because I am testing. So now for the token method, as you are seeing, it's working pretty good with the lobby one. So it does work with the lobby, uh, sorry, with the token one. But on the login to EOS voice chat, you cannot pass a custom name, but the product ID of the user that he has used to log in. Now, this is a limitation that is basically because the way this is passed on to the synth component is we try to find out through the player state which ID is linked to a this x player state and then we get the product id and so basically a lot of comparisons are done through the product id and that is why we need the product id for the login user there's no two ways about that so you need to just have the product user id passed into your login to your eos voice chat and if that is done it will work perfectly and it does work that is it for this video thanks a lot for watching meet you in the next one